right through to the... Oh, it's recording now. So out of here. The complete balanced nutrition of great tasting Ensure. 24 vitamins and minerals, antioxidants, and 9 grams of protein. Ensure. Nutrition in charge. You ain't nothing but a And now, a page from our Sunday morning almanac. August 18th, 1956. 57 years ago today. A day that shook up the music world. For that was the day Elvis Presley's version of Hound Dog topped the Billboard chart for the very first time. Born in a small two-bedroom house in Tupelo, Mississippi, Elvis was only 21 years old that summer. He created a sensation by performing the song, Hip Gyrations and All, on both the Milton Berle and Ed Sullivan TV show. Elvis and Hound Dog stayed at number one for what was then a record 11 weeks. Love me tender. Only to be knocked off their perch by Elvis himself. Hey, hey Elvis. Elvis. His fans certainly loved Elvis more fanatically, though, than tender. The tempo is up, two, three, four for Private Presley. Even a two year hitch in the army failed to dampen his female followers' enthusiasm as our own Charles Corral noted at this news conference upon his discharge. Elvis, you have some screaming fans out there. Do you still like screaming girls? <laughs> if it wasn't for them, I'd, uh, I'd have to re-up in the army, so I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm all shook up. Mm -hmm. Elvis released 31 number one hits during his lifetime, earning him the nickname The King. His death from a heart attack in 1977 at just 42 shocked his millions of fans, but hardly discouraged them. Elvis impersonators thrive to this day, while deniers of his death keep up a steady drumbeat of supposed sightings. And his records and movies continue to sell. Last year, Forbes magazine proclaimed him the third highest earning dead celebrity, behind only Elizabeth Taylor and Michael Jackson, with $55 million in posthumous earnings each year. Yet along with all the fun, there is genuine sadness. This past Thursday evening, thousands of fans took part in a candlelight vigil at Graceland on the 36th anniversary of Elvis' death. Hard to believe that if Elvis really is alive somewhere, he's 78 years old. Love me tender, love me true.